Hello, welcome to Healthy Aging Support Program. You're in the right place. Healthy Aging Support can mean something different to each of you based on your current conditions and potential. My goal is to help each one of you along the journey to your best health through education and support. This eight-week course will include the following topics. One, introduction and goal setting. Two, building your care team. Three, how the right nutrition can help lower your health risks. Four, medication usage. Five, ways to lower stress. Six, safety issues. Seven, benefits and resources. Eight, private session with your group coach. Your workbook has some at-a-glance references for some of the key topics, so you'll have a reminder. But feel free to take notes as we go along. This week's topic is about how to participate in your health journey and get the most out of your Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. This session will help you understand how to access information and resources about your Medicare Advantage plan on the AetnaRetireePlan.com website. Access the HealthyAgingSupport.com website to view information and resources about this course, including course materials, additional helpful health and wellness resources, and understand and set your own SMART health goals. So let's get started. You can register for your member website at aetnaretireeplans.com to access your Aetna Medicare Advantage plan information. This may be different if your employer has a customized website. Check any materials you may have received from them. If you're not sure, you can call Aetna Member Services for help. Once you know where to create your secure website, you'll only have to register once and then you can log in anytime to pull up information about your health plan. The instructions for registering for the site and logging in are also printed in your workbook. Depending on your employer, the Aetna website may look different, but the website content is usually divided into four categories. The Find Care section is where you go to pick up or change your PCP, or to look up doctors, hospitals, labs, and other health care providers who participate in your specific health plans network. The search tool is also available on our public website. But I recommend, when you want to see who's in the network, that you log into the member website first. It makes your search a lot easier. You won't have to try to figure out which plan is yours or enter certain search criteria like your zip code. All that information pre-fills when you're logged into the site. You can use the Manage Claims section to view claims and pay your doctor. Then there's the Coverage and Cost section, which is where you will find your plan documents. That's your Evidence of Coverage, EOC, and Schedule of Cost Sharing, SOC, documents. These have detailed information on your coverage, costs, and any rules you need to follow. If your plan includes prescription drug coverage, you may also find a list of covered drugs. In the Stay Healthy section, you'll find a list of Aetna programs and product discounts available to you as part of your Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. I'm just touching the surface of the member website and I highly encourage you take some time to explore it on your own time. In fact, there's a fun scavenger hunt you may want to try later. You'll find it at the end of this week's section of your workbook. Don't forget, Aetna Member Services is your friend. Our representatives can answer any benefit-related questions, and they can help you find your way around the member website, too. You can reach them during business hours. The hours of operation and toll-free number are located on your Aetna Medicare ID card. You can find all the information about this program, including materials, resources, and related links, online at aetnamedicare.com forward slash 
Healthy Aging Support. Let's take a closer look. There's a section on what to expect from the group coaching sessions which you are enrolled in. There are also instructions on how to set up WebEx. The individual coaching session link provides information about a different track. You can find recorded sessions on each weekly topic here. All are closed captioned. These recorded sessions do not replace the group coaching experience but are available here for your reference. You can find all the materials that are in your Healthy Aging Support Program Welcome Kit under the Reference Materials section. They are available in PDF format so that you can reprint any of them. That includes the Healthy Aging Support Program Workbook and Worksheets. You'll also find other helpful links to resources relevant to our discussions including a link to the HealthWise Knowledge Base, which we will cover next. Finally, for online research, we recommend using the HealthWise Knowledge Base. HealthWise is a credible, trusted source of evidence-based health information presented in clear terms instead of clinical doctor speak, so it's easy to understand and apply what you learn. There are many ways to search for information by condition-specific topics or other health categories. You'll also find interactive tools and resources for checking your symptoms, making health care decisions, health and fitness, lifestyle checkup, and more. We will use the HealthWise Knowledge Base often throughout this course, so it's a good idea to bookmark the site the first time you go in. The web address is in your workbook. Notice that it is .net, not .com. You can also find a link on the Healthy Aging Support website as well as your member website. When you visit the site, you can use the search bar at the top of the page to look up a particular topic. For example, you can type the name of your condition. In fact, Throughout this course, we'll suggest a number of relevant search terms for information, interactive tools, and more as we come across them. You can also scroll down the home page and explore the site using the many available links. If you click on Conditions, you can look for yours and explore it that way. You can also use the website as your own personal health library, healthwise.net forward slash Aetna. I saved today's most important discussion for last. That is setting your health goals. Change isn't easy as anyone who's ever tried it can tell you. Whether you want to quit smoking, lose weight, change your diet, or even go to sleep or wake up earlier, it's probably easier said than done. There may be things holding you back from success. Maybe it's overwhelming or you don't know where to start. That's why it's essential to set goals first. Goals can give you direction. They can help you keep focused on creating the change you want. A vital piece of setting any goal is to know your reason behind it. That's your why. What inspires you? What's your purpose? Your reason behind your goal will help you stick to it later. To keep yourself motivated, ask yourself these questions. Why do I want to make this change? In what ways will this change make my life better? You should have the SMART Goal Worksheet to write your answers. If you already know the answers, take a minute to write them down. If you need more time to think about it, you can work on it later on your own time. But this is an important first step. Go ahead and write your answers if you know them. Be sure to refer back to your why if you ever need encouragement. Some people like to post their why somewhere that they will see it every day, like the bathroom mirror. One method to help make your goals easier to achieve is to make them SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, it's important to clearly state the change you want to make. 
Be as specific as possible. For example, I want to walk more is not specific. A better example is, I want to increase my physical activity by walking 30 minutes a day, three days a week, in three months. Ask yourself, exactly what do I want to change? Measurable. You should be able to count or measure your goal. Walk more is not measurable because you can't measure more. But you can measure walk 30 minutes in a day, three days a week. Setting measurable goals can help you track your progress and know if you've achieved your goals. Ask yourself, how will I track or measure my progress? Achievable. Break down the goal into smaller, easier to reach steps. Set goals that are only a few steps behind what you're doing right now to be realistic and fair to yourself. If you are only able to walk five minutes now, starting off with 30 minutes is a heavy lift that might seem impossible. Instead, increasing to 10 minutes as you start is more achievable. Break up your long-term goal into shorter-term goals that increase over time. You'll quickly realize the more you do, the more you can do. Ask yourself, what small steps can I take to reach my goal? What might get in my way? How can I plan for that? Is there someone who can do this with me? On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you about this goal? If your score is less than 7, what changes can you make in your plan to help you feel more confident that you will be successful? Relevant. You're more likely to achieve goals if they link back to something that's important to you. Write down what your personal, most powerful reasons are for wanting this change. Know your why. Ask yourself, why is this goal important to you? What do I hope to gain by meeting this goal? Time bound. Set a start and end date. Goals should always have a start and end date so you know how much time you have to achieve your goal. It will also help in your planning process. Ask yourself, when will I begin? What is my target date for achieving my goal? We've included smart goal worksheets in your Healthy Aging Support Program Welcome Kit. You will also find them on the Healthy Aging Support Program webpage. A grandmother who's been physically inactive wants to be able to play with her grandkids in the park when they come for a visit in six weeks. Specific. She decides she wants to be able to walk 30 minutes a day, five days a week, without being winded by the time her grandchildren visit. Measurable. Her long-term goal is to reach 30 minutes walking five days a week. She will use her watch timer to track the minutes and write them down on her calendar. Achievable. She wants to be realistic because she's only currently able to walk 10 minutes at a time without being winded. She breaks up her long-term goal into more reasonable, shorter-term goals. Walk 15 minutes a day, five days a week, in weeks one and two. Walk 20 minutes a day, five days a week, in weeks three and four. Walk 30 minutes a day, five days a week, in weeks five and six. Relevant. This goal is important because she wants to make the most out of her visit with her grandchildren. Time bound. She knows she has six weeks to reach her long-term goal. She creates her plan and begins the following day. She is more likely to reach her long-term goal within a six-week time frame by setting smaller, achievable goals in two-week increments. Remember to talk to your doctor before starting a new exercise program. The right support can help you reach your goals. The more support you have for making lifestyle changes, the easier it is to make those changes. Here are some ideas. 
Tell friends and family what you're trying to do. Get everyone on board. Explain that their encouragement will make a big difference to you. Get professional help. Always talk to your doctor before making changes to diet or exercise levels. Work with a partner. Find a friend or family member who's trying to make the same change and arrange to work together. They'll count on you as much as you'll count on them. Join a class or support group. You may find others who share the same goals and barriers. Search online for support groups if there are none in your area. The right support can help you reach your goals. Reward your milestones. Allow yourself little treats for accomplishment, like a movie or new collectible. At the end of each weekly session, you will have a few activities to try on your own time. It's all voluntary, but I believe you'll get the most out of this program if you try at least some of the activities on your own time. The list of suggested activities is in your workbook at the end of each week's session. For this week, you might try to access and explore the HealthWise knowledge base. Remember to bookmark it in your browser for quick and easy access throughout this course and for your use anytime. Especially explore topics about your own health conditions or goals. For example, if quitting smoking is one of your goals, type quit smoking and start exploring that topic. Another good topic to explore is goal setting. Determine your why and post it somewhere just for you. Create a SMART goal. You can use SMART goal worksheets in your welcome kit or from the Healthy Aging Support Program webpage to help develop your long-term and short-term goals. I encourage you to just think about one goal at a time. If you haven't already done so, register for your Aetna member website at aetnaretireeplans.com or use the customized URL that your former employer has provided. That concludes our discussion for today. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.